today i am talking about the factors affecting the buoyant force the factors which affects buoyant force or of thrust okay what are the factors number 1 weight of the displaced liquid of thrust depends upon weight of displaced liquid what it mean let's say we have water in a container if a body is sinking and another is floating both of them are of same volume then the weight of the liquid displaced by this immersed body is greater than the weight of the liquid displaced by this floating body so the body which is sinking experiences more of thrust but the body which is floating experiences less of thrust okay let's move forward second factor on which of thrust depend is density of the liquid and third factor is volume of the body immersed into the liquid which is also known as volume of displaced liquid actually this point number 2 and point number 3 is directly indirectly related to the weight of displaced liquid okay let's talk about the density of the liquid how of thrust depends on it let's say this is water and another liquid is solution of salt concentrated solution of salt and if an egg is placed in water then certainly it sink in water but but if the same egg is placed in solution of salt in water then what is found it floats on the solution of salt in water what is the reason the reason is very clear because water has less density but the solution of salt in water has high density and because of less density the water exerts less of thrust but because of high density the solution of salt in water exerts more of thrust because of more of thrust the same egg floats on the solution of salt in water okay now let's move to third point of thrust depends upon the volume of the body immersed into the liquid this is a liquid say water body is sinking in it another is also sinking the first one is bigger than the second one it means the volume of the body immersed into the liquid is more in case of first but the volume of the body immersed into the liquid is less in case of second so the first one experience more of thrust but second one experience less of thrust it can be understood a little more nicely by this way also this is let's say water and a body is weighed in air and then it is immersed into the water immersed part is less let's say of thrust exerted by the liquid is 2 newton only then what happens weight of the body reduces by 2 newton it becomes 18 newton but if the same body is immersed a little more than the previous the volume of the body immersed into the liquid is more that's why it experiences more of thrust let's say it is 4 newton then the weight of the body reduces by 4 newton and its weight will be 16 newton in water but if we immerse the same body into the same liquid a little more we are immersing more and more then what happens volume of the body immersed into the liquid is more certainly of thrust becomes more and that's why we can say that its weight reduces a little more and it will be only 14 newton this numbers are just imaginary number now next let's say the body is completely immersed at this time volume of the body immersed into the liquid is maximum so it experiences maximum of thrust that is 8 newton and so its weight reduces by 8 newton final weight will be 12 newton we can conclude what factors affects the of thrust factors affecting the of thrust are number 1 weight of displaced liquid density of the liquid volume of the body immersed into the liquid that means volume of the displaced liquid okay we'll meet in another class thank you